What's going on, coaches? Coach Kano here. Just uh, sent you guys an email about extra effort, and I wanted to uh, I wanted on Wednesday to shoot you guys just an article that I was reading that day or I've read in the past that has impacted me in a positive way that you guys could take it what it is. You want to use it, you don't want to use it, that's fine, but just something that motivates me each day that a lot of my, my swipe files is getting pretty large of, over being a coach in the last 11 years in the strength conditioning field. Anything anybody sends me, I always save it, save it, save it so I can learn and pass it on to interns, other coaches, or anything like that. But when I was reading extra effort today would really uh it kind of made me take a step back and what i mean by that is uh and i speak to my uh the players that i coach and the coaches that i coach and the other people that i work with we talk about effort and extra effort and what happens a lot of times is when you speak on those things you're skipping a major step and what i mean by that is before the effort can even be talked about you have to look at one the details the details that you install as a coach that you demand out of your players for you to be prepared for a certain situation is going to dictate the effort your players give or the effort you give. So what I mean by that is, is when you show up to a workout tomorrow morning, say you're a head coach, assistant coach, uh, and you're about to train your kids, do you have a knowledge base, even though you're not a professional strength coach, do you have a knowledge base that you're able to teach the kids to lift or have a plan in place that they know how to execute at a high level? And in the same way, are you detailed enough to demand high energy from them to get the standard effort before we even talk about this extra effort? So kind of my challenge to you guys or uh, <clears throat> is really how detailed you are, how serious you take it. Uh, are you wearing khaki pants to work out tomorrow? Are you yawning at workout tomorrow? In no way do your players expect you to be a professional strength coach um, if you're not. Be honest with them. They know that. But what they want and what they crave, because I've been there. I, I was that 14 to 18-year-old kid back in the day that just wanted to be you know, taught how to do things. Even if you weren't an effort or, or a master at it or a professional at it, as long as you showed me the effort and showed me the way that you cared, I promise you I would have got a lot more out of it. It wasn't until I got to Texas A&M to start interning at the age of 22, I had any idea of what I was actually doing in high school. People, do, My coaches just handed me a workout and sat behind a desk. So if that's you, that's okay. That's all right. We have programs in place to help you out. No overcharges. Send me an email and we'll give, it, we'll give you some great feedback. But uh, when, I, when I think of extra effort, I don't even touch on there yet. I go in, are the details in place for your, for your team just to give the standard effort and be the best at that? And don't get all impressed about this fancy stuff. I've been blessed to talk to about 60 to 100, 60, 80 to 100 coaches this past three weeks about our program. And I, I tell you, there's a lot of great coaches that want to do well by the kids. That's our goal, win the kids, do best by the kids. But don't think that some fancy James Harrison or Colin Kaepernick or something college coaches are doing when we have five strength coach full-time on staff and we're able to train these high athletes at a high level that you're able to implement that at the high school level. Maybe you are. Odds are very high you're not. So before we get the extra effort, we'll touch base on that again. When I read this article, that was the first thing I thought about. How detailed can I be for tomorrow morning? How detailed can I be that I'm able to teach the right way? And have the players know that I really care about those details. Make sure when you say sprint for 10 yards, sprint through. Are you making them come back or you just let them go? Because you have some awesome plan that you saw James Harrison do a push press for 330. Or you saw Colin Kaepernick pick up three tennis balls, put them on four different cones. Make sure everything is detailed out. And you've, you've literally seen someone do this workout. Or you've walked through. Have you walked through your staff of what you're doing tomorrow or today? Those are all little things that have to be done. Have you done these things properly? Have you communicated it with properly? Because I promise you this: when you teach it to your staff, I'm sorry, when you teach it to your players, they're gonna know if this is the first time you've gone through this. So that's something I always do, even when I'm, I gave it like, I, or I don't know if I said on this, I tried to make this video two or three times. To be honest with you. Um, I just gave a speech today at Rice, uh, the, my old high school, and in my head I was rehearsing. Even though I've done the speech probably about 500 times now, you have to go over things over and over and over and over and over again, and I still forget something. I still always, there's always two or three things I forget. So my challenge to you coaches is tomorrow or tonight before you go to bed or the next day, review what you're about to teach to these players so you can teach at a high level and have the energy and the energy for them to know that you really care. Coaches, I, I work with a couple right now that they mean the best for their players, but they're worried about things in summer and this and weighing in and doing this next Thursday. Focus, focus right now just on the warm-up tomorrow. Be great at that. Be great at the warm-up tomorrow and then go on to the next phase and the next phase. Dominate, dominate Thursday 
and then the rest will take care of the place. Worry about the rest. That's just my opinion on extra effort. It, it has nothing to do with extra effort. It has everything to do with the details before you get to that effort. So if you have those details already locked in, then I'm sorry. I, I kind of touched Mitch base with you on this on this video. But uh, more to come from me. Guys, I want to give you guys an awesome article and awesome information on Wednesdays. Um, if you don't like it, that's fine. But uh, any information you could send my way that could help me out, I'm here to learn. I'm here to, I'm here to grow as a coach. And I appreciate you guys listening to this. I appreciate your feedback. And as always, uh, Coach Kano, be real.